751, Time Magazine announces its Person of the Year of 2013. To talk about it is Tom Weber, Time Magazine Assistant Managing Editor. Tom, thanks for joining us here in St. Louis on KTRS Radio. Thank you. Good morning. You got it. You picked uh, Pope Francis as 2013 Time of the Year. That's the big news. But how does time and how do the editors go about picking it? What is the criteria? Well, the criteria, and uh, you know, every year this this kind of comes up. Uh, it's the person who, for for good or for ill, has had the most impact on the world and uh, the news in the year. Um, which means it is not automatically someone who's a force for good. Um, Hitler was uh, Times uh, Man of the Year in 1938. The Ayatollah Khomeini in 1979. One of our uh, one of our finalists. Uh, this year was uh, Bashar Assad in in Syria, uh, so it is uh, it is not in that sense an honor, but it is kind of a declaration of uh, of person with impact. I would have voted if I was sitting on the board and voted. I would have voted for Pope Francis, not necessarily with my head, but with my heart. Is that w- would that have been a fair vote? Well, we try to uh, we try to factor both in, and I think. Um, you know, we had a pretty tough choice uh, this year between Pope Francis and Edward Snowden, um, but I think the case with your head is uh, is is excellent uh, as well as the case with your heart. Um, one of the things that struck us about Pope Francis, when you think of the speed with which he hit the world scene, um, it's somebody most most of us didn't even know a year ago, and to so quickly change the tone and the perceptions of the world's largest church uh, is, is a pretty amazing feat that really has, you know, ripples around the world. But particularly seeing it happen in a year like this, um, it's a year when people's faith in leadership, in institutions, and in governments, uh, you know, has, has been beaten down that much more. And obviously Snowden's revelations have, have played a part in that, but it, it's a lot more than that. And so to see a figure who can kind of seize the moral authority of their position and change perceptions for the better and get people um, talking and changing their behavior in in that direction, um, I I think really uh, helped the Pope uh, stand out in in our process. I I said this earlier that um, I've heard more non-Catholics say they love Pope Francis, and I've heard more Catholics say they love Pope Francis. So, I mean, he really has um, sort of burst on the scene as as good news for the Catholic Church when they needed it most. Yeah, he has really changed the conversation of the Church, and, you know, what's what's so remarkable at that is um, he is is not— a, a liberal in the way that that some people want to want to frame him. He has um, stuck closely with uh, church dogma, um, but it's it's a lot about his tone and the sense of empathy uh, that he projects that is is causing people to look differently uh, about the church. Yeah. Hey, I know President Obama, Tom, made the um, the top ten, and he's been on there I think twice as Person of the Year. Who has um, made the record for number of times of being person oh, of the year? Oh, I have to go to my uh, my my list there. <laughs> um, the only person who was named three times uh, was Franklin Roosevelt. Oh, all right, fair enough. Most of the time, uh, you mentioned Snowden came in second. Uh, Edith Windsor comes in third, and I suspect most Americans have no idea who Edith Windsor is. They know what she's a part of and what she did once they're they're told but she's a she's would have been an interesting pick because no one knows who she is well i i hope that i hope that people hearing this will uh i hope they will of course get a copy of time magazine and and, and read about the person of the year choices or 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 go online but I, I i say that because um her story is is one that is um you know kind of lovely and worth reading she won a landmark case before the supreme court that uh, effectively struck down the Defense of Marriage Act and uh, resulted in federal recognition of gay marriage. And when you read her story, you learn what happened. She was, um, you know, in a relationship with uh, her her partner for, uh, for for decades, and her partner died, and she found herself having to pay uh, the estate tax that uh, that uh, somebody in a uh, traditional marriage. 
would, would, would not have to pay uh, under, under the tax code. And she took this case and won it, uh, which obviously had a lot of practical impact, but is reshaping uh, the way people think about gay marriage. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it was hundreds of thousands of dollars she was going to have to pay in taxes. Yeah. It's, I mean, I think uh, when you read that story, you, you learn that um, the issue is not always the, um, the kind of philosophical uh, issue that, that tends to be in the discussion. Right. Um, but for a lot of people, it's a very practical one uh, as well. Yeah. I got to tell you, I'm just glad Miley Cyrus didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Miley mounted a, a strong case online. Her fans were uh, voting like crazy in our in our online poll. She was she did not make our, our short list, but um, you know, Miley, if if you're listening, you're you're young and, and you have a lot of uh, years ahead to think about um, how you can how you can mount your case. Edith Windsor three, Bashar Assad four, and then uh, number five, Ted Cruz. That's an interesting pick for number five. Ted Cruz, I mean, think about what happened in Washington this year. Um, the, the shutdown, the focus on Obamacare, the focus on government um, dysfunction. Um, Ted Cruz is kind of the, the epicenter, um, you know, for this uh, emerging uh, uh, wing of, of politics and, and the pivotal figure uh, in the shutdown. And so I think, you know, we look at him as someone who's going to play a, a big role in events uh, moving forward. Tom Weber, Time manage, uh, Time Magazine Assistant Managing Editor. Tell Nancy Gibbs she was here in town. I emceed her book club for her when she was here in town. She's a sweetheart. Tell her St. Louis says hi and uh, best luck to everybody at and Time I Magazine. And a President's Club book plug too. Boy, this is like a, the trifecta for, there. Uh, for Nancy today. So <laughs> you got it. very much. Tom, have, have a good uh, holiday season and uh, good luck. You too. Thank you. 758 here at Big 550 KTRS. Uh, check in with